Hello everyone. And welcome to my channel. In this video I will explain to you, how to disable checking for updates on a client computer, using group policy in Windows Server 2019. You can disable the check for updates button, for all users within the domain, and this is a good way, to not allow users to randomly make updates. I think admins should disable checking for updates for several reasons. First is that the user may download unauthorized updates, and also updates that have not been tested by the administrators, and therefore may affect the stability, of the computer. Also, when a user manually downloads, and installs updates from Microsoft Update, an operating system upgrade may occur, and therefore, the update has not been tried on the applications, and therefore there is a possibility that the applications may not work properly, and some settings may change. So if you switch to the client computer, and you open the settings, and from it to the updates section, you will find that the check for updates button is active, and enabled. Additionally, a cumulative update is available for installation. And if the user clicks download, and install, the quality update from Microsoft Update will be downloaded, and installed on the computer. Thus, it may affect the stability of the computer. Now, do you see a reason why you must disable check for updates on domain computers? Therefore, in most organizations, a group policy is deployed to the client computers, to disable check online for updates from Microsoft Update site. So I will explain to you, how to disable checking for updates using group policy, and thus remove user access to checking, downloading and installing Windows Update. Once again, go back to Windows Server 2019, and from the taskbar click on Server Manager. After opening Server Manager, click on Tools at the top, and then, click on Group Policy Management. Now create a new policy. Select the group policy object, and then on the right side click on the right mouse button, and from the menu, select new. After that, you will be asked to select a name for the new policy. As we agreed before, you must write a name indicating the identity of the policy, so that it is easy for you to use it later. After you create the GPO, right click the GPO and select edit. After opening the Group Policy Management Editor, expand Computer Configuration. Then expand Policies. Then, Administrative Templates. After that expand Windows Components. And then, select Windows Update. After you select Windows Update, go to the left pane, and arrange the options and search for, remove access to use all Windows Update features. Then, double click on the setting remove access to use all Windows Update features, to open it. Of course, you must read the options well before you activate them, and they are thus telling you that these settings allow you to remove access to Windows Updates, and therefore activate it. Select the Enable option, then press the OK button. After that close the Group Policy Management Editor, and you have one last step, which is to link the new policy to the group you specify, or link it to all domain users. I prefer to the test group. Before applying to users. After linking the policy, I will go to the user's computer. To ensure the implementation of the new policy that removes, and prevents users from performing manual updates for Windows. To ensure that the new policy is applied, you can restart the computer. Or you type a command in CMD. This command updates the client. Open the command prompt. And type the following command that appears in front of you on the screen, then press the enter button. After making sure that the update was successful, go to Windows Settings, and open the Windows Updates section.
you will notice that checking for updates is now disabled. There are no buttons for the user to press, and there are no options for users to check online for updates, and a message may appear stating that this option is managed by your organization. I hope the video is useful to you. Thank you for watching, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Thank you.